Here I'm going to discuss the fuel that your Kona uses. This is the 2018 owner's manual for the Hyundai Kona. There is another vehicle called the Kona that's not made by Hyundai. Uh, but it's not, uh, not about this kind of vehicle. So everybody assumes that the Kuna Kona is tuned to 87 octane. It is not. In the United States and Canada, minimum requirement is 87. Everywhere else in the world, it's 91. Now, why is that? Well, because the rating is different. It's the difference between the research octane number and the uh, R plus M divided by 2 number. So, I'll explain that shortly. However, the 1.6 Kona and the 2.0 Turbo found in, like, the N have the ability to adjust performance by the octane rating. So less detonation allows the vehicle to add more timing, you make more power, or you can get better gas mileage. Or both, depending on how you drive. So, let's deep dive into this, because I'm tired of the misinformation that I see on all the Kona pages. Just because you people don't read the manual. You have it in your vehicle, use it. All right, so I'm gonna to switch to hmm, fuel requirements. Don't mind my gigantic bookmark. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in here. Your new vehicle is designated or designed with to attain optimum performance with unleaded fuel. But unleaded fuel, that's anything above 56 octane all the way up to 125 octane. Hmm. Uh, as well as minimize exhaust emissions and spark plug fouling because it's not a diesel. Your new vehicle is designed to use only unleaded fuel having an octane rating or octane number R plus M divided by 2 of 87 or research octane number 91 or higher. Here's the key word, higher. So it's not tuned to 87 because it can run higher. Do not use methanol blended fuels. So R plus M divided by two of 87 in the research octane number 91. So this is confusing to some people that don't understand what research octane number. So R plus M divided by two, which is used in the US and Canada of 87. That is not the lowest unleaded fuel rating in the US. It's common, but there is lower than that. So 87 minimum, 91 outside of the US. So here we go. So the rest of the world, the US, uh, when I looked up this, let's see here. Does the US use research octane number? The rest of the world uses research octane number, Ron for short you know, for a research octane number. It is one way to measure octane, and it's pretty much the world standard. American and Canada fuels, however, are measured using anti-knock index, an average of RON, and another octane rating called the motor octane number, or the MON. So, In the U.S., the minimum you can use is 87. So U.S. and Canada is 87. On the other side of the pond, both ponds, both the Atlantic and the Pacific, minimum is 91. So, all of you people on the other side of the pond have been using the wrong fuel. Good job. All you have to do is read and do a little bit of research. So, notice... To prevent damage to the engine and its engine components, never add a fuel system cleaning agent to the fuel tank other than what has been specified. What's been specified? Well, they want you to go to Hyundai dealer for additional information. Later on in the manual, you can read it, they do recommend a fuel system cleaner um, that's Hyundai specific, which is, um, well, I'm not going to go into it because too many people are going to complain that it's not available in their country. Warning, do not top off 
after the nozzle automatically shuts off when refueling. The reason for that is there's a valve at the bottom of the tank. It's an air purge valve. So as you put fuel in, air has to come out of the tank. If you continue to push fuel into the tank, well, you can bow the tank outwards, which is bad, or it'll back up into the nozzle. You know, it'll back up all the way into the fueling nozzle to the end, which is a fire hazard. Also, always check that the fuel cap is installed securely to prevent fuel spillage in the event of an accident. Also, don't put gas in the vehicle while it's running because it can throw you a check engine light for the same issue. You'll have that air leak kind of issue and the fuel won't leave the tank fast enough. So, there's that. Also, let's keep going here. Gasoline containing alcohol or methanol. Now, methanol is not really found much here in the U.S. Um, you can get it in some of the gasoline antifreeze uh, products. Um, and Chevron, Tecron, and Lucas uh, fuel uh, stuff is actually an ethanol. You're pretty much just adding ethanol to your tank. But, um, so, alcohol, uh, gasoline containing alcohol or methanol also known as gasohol. Not a very common term nowadays. It's usually found on gasohol was something found in the 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, the 1950s, not the 2050s. Just going to be clear for people because you'd be surprised. Gasohol, a mixture of gasoline, ethanol, and ethanol, also known as grain alcohol, are being marketed along with or instead of leaded or unleaded gasoline. For example, E15 is a gasohol comprised of 15% ethanol, 85% gasoline. Do not use gasohol containing more than 15% ethanol. And do not use gasoline or gasohol containing any methanol. Methanol is fine for cigarettes and vapes and many other things which you probably shouldn't be doing anyway, but do not be using the fuel at all. Either of these fuels may cause drivability problems and damage to the fuel system, engine control system, emissions control systems. Discontinue using gas holes on any, uh, of any kind if drivability problems occur. Let's see here. Bar out here again. E85. So E85 is a high ethanol content. The Kona is not designed to use E85. Um, you need special fuel lines and special fuel pump in order to run, run E85. I actually run E85 in my Kona, but the pump and the lines had to be changed. It costs about a grant. Um, but I'm also tuned and I'm modified, so that's probably part of the reason for that. E85 is not an octane rating of 85. 85% alcohol is about 101 octane approximately. So E85 fuel is an alternative fuel comprised of 85% uh, ethanol and 15% gasoline. It is manufactured exclusively, bleh, exclusively uh, for use in flexible fuel vehicles. E85 is not compatible with your vehicle. Use E85 may result in poor engine performance and damage to your vehicle's engine and fuel system. Hyundai recommends that customers do not use the fuel with the ethanol content exceeding 15%. E15 is common here in the U.S. Uh, most of the U.S. uses E10 or E15. Um, and it's not an exact science either. You really have to do a test to see how much is actually in the tank of it. Um, so most pumps are marked E10. It could be upwards of E15. Notice... To prevent damage of your vehicle's engine and fuel system, never use gas hole that contains methanol. Never use gas hole containing more than 15% ethanol. Never use leaded fuel or leaded gas hole. You shouldn't be able to find leaded fuel anymore in the U.S. Um, yeah, because the EPA has banned that a long time ago, something like 40 years ago now. Never use E85 fuel. Now, it tells you to never use E85 fuel, and yet... At least once a month, I see on the Kona forums or on the Kona Facebook pages, somebody put E85 in because it's cheaper. 
and they have problems with it. Okay, your new vehicle limited warranty does not cover damage to the fuel system or any performance problems caused by the use of E85. So if you are stupid enough to put E85 in your system after knowing not to put E85 in there, but because it's cheaper, you did, the warranty does not cover it. You're on the you're on the uh, hook for um, at least a grand in just parts of fixing your fuel system. Now let's see. Using fuel additives except detergent fuel additives. Using fuel additive, additives such as silicone fuel additive, ferrocene iron-based fuel additive, and other metallic-based fuel additives may result in cylinder misfire, poor acceleration, engine stalling, Damage to the catalyst, abnormal corrosion, and may cause damage to the engine resulting in a reduction of overall life of the powertrain. That would be bad. Sorry, my hand is shaking holding the phone. The mil, mal, a malfunction indicator lamp, MIL, may illuminate. That's also known as a CEL, or a check engine light. Notice, damage to the fuel system or performance problems caused by the use of these fuel Fuel source fuel additives may not be covered by your new vehicle warranty. Wow, I said it twice. Hmm, must be important. Gasoline containing MMT. So, gasoline containing MMT are some low grade, um, high octane fuels, like 101. Uh, but, like, if you're paying $3 for 101, it probably has MMT in it. Because normally it's about $5 a gallon, just about anywhere. Um, some gasolines contain harmful magnesium-based fuel additives, such as MMT. Uh, that's methyl cyclopenetranil, uh manganese tricarbonyl. Yes, I did practice trying to say that, and I still struggle trying to say that. Hyundai does not recommend the use of gasoline containing MMT. Also... So just so you know, there are fuel additives, octane boosters, like 101 and 108. Uh, I think 105, you find them in like AutoZone, O'Reilly's. It's, it's a common uh, type of uh, octane booster. If you read the back, they all contain MMT. This type of fuel can reduce vehicle uh, performance and affect your emissions control systems. A malfunction indicator lamp on the cluster may come on. That's your check engine light. Detergent fuel additives, which, again, MMT, stay away from the fuel additives if they contain MMT. MMT will actually make your spark plugs turn bright red and glaze them, and you will get a misfire. Ask me how I know on something other than the Hyundai. So Hyundai recommends that you use a good quality gasoline treated with detergent additives such as top-tier detergent gasoline, which help prevent deposit... Uh, formation in the engine. The gasoline, uh, these gasolines will help the engine run cleaner and enhance performance of the emission control system. For more information on top tier detergent gasoline, please go to the website www.toptiergas.com. Top tier gas, so that's Exxon, Mobil, Hess, BP, Valero, all the, all the really high major brands. If you go to some place like Diamond or Triangle, it's not going to be considered top tier. So they're all the major ones. Um, let's see. For customers who do not use top tier detergent gasolines regularly and have problems starting or the engine does not run smoothly, uh, detergent based fuel additives that you can purchase separately may be added to the gasoline. If top tier detergent gasoline is not available, one bottle of additive added to the fuel tank according to the maintenance schedule is recommended. Refer to maintenance schedule. Chapter 7. Additives are also, well, they are, I shouldn't say also. Additives are available from your authorized Honda dealer, along with information on how to use them. Do not mix with other additives. And then the rest here is, you know, operation foreign countries. Well, question is, since Honda is worldwide, what do you consider a foreign country? Uh, and then they tell you about don't do any vehicle modifications. And... Vehicle braking process, do not race the engine while driving, keep your engine speed, RPM, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, do not maintain a single speed for long periods of time. And avoid hard stops and goes. Uh, for the first 600 miles, which is also a common question. Um, and that's it. So don't use E85. Try not to use anything that contains MMT. And once again, so the US uses the R plus M divided by 2 of 87. So US and Canada use 87 octane. Everyone else uses 91. So, that's interesting, isn't it? Everybody in Europe has been using the wrong freaking octane from the beginning and then telling everybody else in the world that, you know, 87 is required, but it's not. It's minimum. So, or higher. 87 or higher. Higher. Again, 1.6 liter and 2.0 turbos have this interesting deal about if you get less detonation, thus less knock, the vehicle will actually change the timing. You'll, you'll get more timing, you'll get more power. It's a learn. Well, it's, it learns. So, there you go. It's in your book. Read the damn book and you won't be surprised. That is all. Thank you. Bye.